The Segway X260. I'm very excited to try out this electric dirt bike. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just a uh, unboxing with you guys today. Cool? If anyone knows what this is, it's got a little razor blade. It's a safety hammer in case you're stuck in your car. All right, this box weighs a lot. The, the actual Segway, I want to say, weighs around 120 pounds, uh, maybe 110. This box probably weighed like a good 150. Cool. So that's it. Wow. They actually did a really good job wrapping this up. It feels like it was protected. Um, we'll do a little inspection to see if there's any scratches or dents in anything. Max load, 220.5 pounds. I'm gonna have to lose some weight. Oh, maybe we can fit two people on there. I don't know. My butt's pretty big, so it might not have. <laughs> wow, crazy. All right, this thing looks really cool. Comes with a set of keys up here. And this is the uh, the fork up front, the suspension essentially. I don't know if it's hydraulic shocks or air shocks, but again, it does feel well protected. So this is where the battery goes. Pop this lid off. Show you how big this battery is. But. You can pull it out. It's waterproof, it says. And that just goes back into place. It has this little um, port for USB charging, which is nice. And this is the key for the ignition as well. Handlebar on here. From what I understand, the bike comes about 80% pre assembled. I would say this is still pretty much beginner to intermediate level stuff. I'm going to come around over here so I can see what's going on here. I'm just taking these screws out so I can put the handlebar in. So because this handlebar is still loose, I can just slide that on. Something like that. This also goes on there too. This is the uh, throttle control. It's starting to take shape. And then 
great in there too. This is just temporary. All right, I got the handlebars and the throttle control in place. Kind of did it backwards. I'll probably have to make micro adjustments along the way. Looks very cool. So it looks like you can angle the light once you tighten the screws down. And I don't know how long I'm going to use this light. It just depends how bright it is. But LED lights do get pretty bright these days. Alright. Now, I'm going to undo this thing here. The strap. I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't know if I should cut it or what, but... I feel like it's holding the suspension down. <laughs> Jeez. Butthead. Can you help me out? I'm just gonna cut this. It might shoot up. Stand back a little bit. Ugh. Oh. That's cool. So now we have this. Undo that. Then I might as well just do the rear as well. I'm gonna come over here. So I believe that the strap is compressing everything. We'll find out. Yeah. Man, this cuts through like butter. It's a beautiful looking shot. Next, I'm going to put the front wheel on, and then I can actually put the kickstand down, because right now it's very unstable. And just um, get it close to right here, like if you bring the camera down here. So right now it's using this piece of wood as a, a block, holding these forks in place, keeping it somewhat stable. Um, so I'm going to undo this giant screw right here. And I'll probably pull this off too. Take that off here. Do the same thing to the other side. It'd probably be easier if I actually use the socket wrench. So what I did here is I put it on this piece of styrofoam so that I could elevate it and then I could actually take that piece of wood off the front fork because this thing is really stubborn. There were a couple wheel spacers. They had some little O-rings, and you just pop those in place. You might have to use a uh, flathead screwdriver to push the ring, the rubber, the rubber ring into place. So I'm going to take these little screws off. Wow, actually made a little progress. I learned that I could just take the flathead screwdriver 
and push into this area and it actually pops that rod out just like I wanted. Whew. Hell yeah, I've got that removed. Yes, just make sure you remove it from this side of the bike when you're doing it. Also, there's a little yellow piece for the brake. Remove that because the rotor is gonna go in between those pads. Oh wow, finally got the wheel in. That really was a pain in the butt. Now I can tighten these screws down. Finger tightening this big screw. Then I'll torque them down. It does come with an actual torque sheet. All right, so I had opened this battery cover with the key and there's a shutoff switch in there. It looks like it's off right now. So we will turn that on after we plug this stuff in. Um, looks like that goes right here. And huh, how do we know which side goes where? Oh, because one's bigger than the other. Got it. Yep, and then that goes right in there. Now, I'm going to turn that switch on. Okay. Oh, look at that. Battery turns on. Okay. And then, put the key in the ignition. Hey! Woohoo! Nice. We'll just take it for a little spin in the garage. I know it's not 100% ready to go, but still want to try it for a second. But hey, come on. This is the final round. I know, I'm done after this. We'll clean up and we'll grab food. It's already recording. Fun. The brakes need to break in, but we did it. So there you have it, guys. The Segway X260. We did a uh, a build. It's my first time. I would say it came around 80% assembled. Again, you could do this at home. Um, you just need some basic tools, and we'll have a good time. <laughs> <laughs>